going to show the cup holder being installed on a bike uh, with tubular handlebars here, but we're going to show it uh, with what's called the switch plate mounting. Switch plate mounting, this triangular bracket that's going to mount to the switch housing. Any motorcycle, tubular handlebar, odd shaped cast handlebar, uh, anything that has a split clamp on either side uh, that has two screws there, uh, This how this mount will work on it. So how this is going to mount is the two existing screws will come out. There'll be longer screws and spacers. The plate's going to mount there, and our cup holder's going to hang on to that. I'm going to show you here is how this assembles. Uh, let me tell you this. First, I would recommend you put a blanket or a rug over the gas tank so that we don't have an inevitable whoops and drop one of those parts on our beautiful paint job. When this is assembled, uh, these pieces come unassembled. This bracket will go on either on the left side, or you'd reverse that, and it would go on the right side. Uh, I like the left side so they keep the hand one hand on the throttle and still grab your beverage on the left. So the next step is there's a spacer there that spaces the cup holder off of the plate. And that cup, that spacer, if you'll notice it closely, has got an oval protrusion at one end, a little round boss protrusion at the other. And the purpose of that is that the oval is designed that the cup holder has a keyhole type slot in the back. And this keyhole slot, it's going to fit onto that. We're going to put the bolt through on the keyhole slot. When that's tightened down, it'll allow you to put that in the head of the bolt, slide that on, and when that's tightened, your cup holder will rotate just a little bit. If you use the other end with the round protrusion, that'll allow the cup holder to spin a full 360. But the only time I recommend that is on a set of armrests that might be pivotally, vertically pivoting up and down, uh, that you would want that to rotate somewhat. Uh, otherwise, I like the oval ones that when you have a tall bottle of water or beverage in there, it can't rotate 360 and turn upside down and lose your bottle of water. So again, we're going to assemble this with the oval side towards the head of the screw. That's going to go through the switch plate. We're going to have it up in this direction. There's a large acorn or hex nut here that comes with it. That's going to go on the back side. And we're going to assemble that loosely. So that's going to etch the handlebar clamp. The next step is we're going to remove the existing handlebar clamp screws. In this case, they're a standard uh, screw. The kit comes with both metric and standard screws. This is a Harley Davidson, so this is going to use standard screws. It'll be the coarser thread screws. It also comes with a couple different length screws, depending on what type of uh, housing you have. We're going to take these screws out. We're not going to reuse these. Sometimes your split clamp half will come off. Sometimes it'll stay there. So we're going to use a couple of the longer screws that came with it. There's also two spacers included, and that spaces it off that split clamp half. Once we've got the spacer and the screw and the nut assembled loosely for the cup holder to hang on, we're going to get that set up to go onto the handlebars. And again, I have this to the triangle, the offset in the triangle is up, keeping the cup holder up higher, so that when the handlebars swing back, you want to make sure that it's clearing your gas tank. So I'm going to use two of the longer screws, the standard screws that came with it. And we're going to use the two spacers that came with the kit. Going to loosely get the handlebar clamp back in place. Half. You can see the assembly with the two screws, spacers, and the plate. This is the existing housing. Get the screw started. Get that part installed. And use the Allen wrench that came with the kit to tighten those down. That's a 532nd Allen wrench. Tighten those back down securely. Go there. The next thing we're going to do is take our cup holder. Now we have that slotted uh, oval piece that's going to go in the keyhole slot. We're going to hang the cup holder on there and get the cup holder vertical where we want it. Once we've got the cup holder straight up and down where we'd like it, uh, the same Allen wrench, the 9 16 wrench, we're going to snug that up a little bit so it stays in place there. So now I have the cup holder where it's vertical on the handlebars. And like I said, it's supposed to have a little bit of slop to it, rotate a little bit. So carefully we're going to take that off and then without moving the head of the screw to rotate that, we're going to tighten down that screw securely, uh, the nut, I should say, the 9 16th nut, hold that cup holder. Now that we have that on, installation is complete on your bracket, that stays there all the time. Now you're able to take the keyhole slot and the cup holder, hang the cup holder onto the keyhole slot, it's there. Also included is a rubber grommet and that rubber grommet is designed to fit, once you have the cup holder on, you put them, I'm going to figure this off there, it's easier to see. 
you push the cup holder, excuse me, the rubber grommet into the bottom of the keyhole slot once that's attached. And you can see then that prevents it from coming off, locks the cup holder in place so that you can't lose it. Uh, and the reason for that is if you have a tapered, uh, let's say you have a tapered coffee cup or soda cup in there, that can wedge its way in there without that rubber grommet. You stand the chance of that being wedged in, lifting it up, the cup holder comes off with it, you may lose it. So anyway, the uh, grommet goes in, that keeps the cup holder from coming off. Uh, when you don't want this, what's neat about this design of cup holder is all you do is pull that grommet out, pull the cup holder off, you can put it in your saddlebag or tool pack and have it out of the way. That's it. Again, this cup holder is available uh, both in the chrome finish or the leather wrap, or there is the combination set which gives you uh, your choice amounts, and then you get the coffee cup and the regular cup holder, and you get a cell phone GPS mount.